In his acceptance speech, soon after his formal nomination, Raila Odinga promised to transform every sector of the country by building on the successes recorded by the Jubilee administration. Odinga promised to revolutionize health care, manufacturing and food security, which are part of President Uhuru Kenyatta's legacy of the Big Four agenda. Raquel Moigai reports. It was an acceptance speech packed with pledges ranging from completion of projects initiated by the current government to pursuing dreams of the independence era leaders. We will use it to continue the struggle to eradicate poverty, ignorance and disease that our nationalists initiated at independence but still remains a work in progress. Odinga said Azimil Omoja will take the country in a transformative direction if it forms government after the August 9th election, pledging to make the economy one of the top priorities. I pledge to build an economy that helps every Kenyan make ends meet, put food on the table, pay school fees for their children, and save for the future the very deliberate focus on women. A pledge Raila believes will be achieved by tapping into the country's youth who more often than not find themselves disadvantaged when looking for business or economic opportunities. A pledge to create a standalone ministry for youth affairs and mainstream, and mainstream appointment of the youth in the Azimio government in addition to tax holiday for the youth enterprises and tax incentives to organizations that employ the youth. Building on the successes of the Jubilee regime on access to quality and affordable health care, which is also at the center of President Uhuru Kenyatta's legacy, Odinga promised to deliver a revolutionized health care system. More hospitals and well-paid and motivated health workers, health insurance, and focus on preventive health. We call it Baba Care. Revolutions that will not only occur in the healthcare system, but also in matters industrialization, where his government will seek to make Kenya a manufacturing powerhouse. On corruption, Raila is proposing a 3D prescription. I pledge to lead a war against corruption. We will make this country adopt three don'ts to corruption. One, don't want, don't do, and don't dare. Raila Odinga, who will be running for president the fifth time, made his acceptance speech against a hitherto most unlikely backdrop. <laughs> president Uhuru Kenyatta, his fierce rival of the last two elections, is pulling every weight for Odinga's candidature, describing him as the most suitable leader to succeed him at State House. Hatuna any doubt that we have a team leader. We have a team leader in the name of Raila. Amolo Odinga. The pledges I make here today with this ticket are pledges I intend to keep. Raquel Mui Guy, Citizen TV.